Very, very weird packaging. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. Another day, another unboxing, and this one it's a comeback. But come back with the better packaging. The first draw that I ordered from this manufacturer, not the same store, came on a bag, just on a bag. I don't know how did the rod get broken on the shipping, but I got it on the bag. This one comes on a nice triangular package, like a toddler on and on bubble wrap. And I only pay 15 euros for it. Let's get rid of the box, get rid of the pack. And by now you should know what it is. On my notes, I have the cheap S glass rod, but actually, the name of this rod, it's uh, Telser. I think I can show you the smell in here. It's awful. It smells like paint. Not paint, paint. Sorry, English fellows, it doesn't smell like beer. It smells like paint. Shit, TS, cheap paint that will get with full of black mold on one or two years. Actually, my S Whooper Ash Pie, but it's basically the same rod as the Shintao Test Telser that I reviewed on the channel. The one that I reviewed was the spinning version, and this one is the casting version. So it's a four parter, but one of the parts it's the handle. If we put it together, oh, it actually says Ash Pie. The other one that I had that I also sold was a Shintao. And it said Shintao Teose. So basically, this is the same rod with different uh, guides and a different handle. The handle, it, maybe I should bother. No, I don't know, because I really like the cork for the price. It's not that bad of a feeling, not have that bad of a grip on the this chip of a rod. This is a $15 rod, even with no promotions, you can get it for $18. The epoxy work, Again, for the price, you cannot really complain. I don't know how good the camera will focus. It's a new cell phone. But, craftsmanship for 15 euros? <laughs> I cannot complain. I will probably put some clips of me fishing with the spinning version. Whoa. I caught something. Another one for the blower on the background. It's very annoying, but I had to deal with it. It's still on, still on. I had a huge bite, the drag was peeling, oh. and I hooked it. Another one. But. This actually looks pretty good. It looks better than the one that I had, at least as I remember. The other one look a bit shoddy. This one, the epoxy, it's very, very good. The, the lining on the guy is also very, very good. But the specs of this rod. So this rod, it's very, very short, 140 centimeters or four foot 11. It has four sections, as I told you. It has cheap ass guides, that's at least what I have on my notes. As a one millimeter tip, yes, I measured it. It's a bit thicker in here, but it will taper out to one millimeter. It weighs 89 grams, or on my drug scale, around 91. I think it's from the plastic. It has a cast weight from one to six grams, but when you're casting six grams, the rod will be like this. 
uh, if you're retrieving crankbaits, which it's what you're supposed to because the rod is very, very soft, you should be throwing uh, travels with it. You will have a hard time hooking fish with single hooks on this. And the line weight, it's from two to six pounds. I don't know, I have my glass rod over here. I have a, I had a blast with it, but this rod with shipping, it's 50 or 60 euros. And this one is 15. So it's just, you just want a cheap rod to cast shit around. Uh, this is a very, very good option. At least with spinning, I had no problems. Uh, using uh, smaller crankbaits, even with higher current, I could feel the bite of bigger fish, smaller ones. Uh, it's a bit hit or miss, but if you just want to have fun, this is a good investment. It's very, very cheap. It's functional. It actually, it will work. At least spinning version. I did not yet test. As you can see, I still have the plastic and I really don't know if I will be able to test it uh, right now. We have a very, very, very low, low water level. And what that means, it's super, super ultra light season. But this rod will stay with me. I will not forget about it. And I will have a review on water when it's possible. But until then, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.